Welcome to Trina Kulik Designs. My name is Trina and I'm the owner designer here at Trina Kulik Designs. And today I'm going to be making a, what you call it, a faux shiplap sign because it's not really shiplap, but I'm going to try my best to make it look like shiplap. This is a technique that I've actually taught to, taught my insiders in my inside scoop how to do. And I thought it'd be fun to come on here and go live with everybody and kind of experiment with making a sign. So when you come on, come on, tell me, hey, what you doing today? So the other day I came live, um, my coffin's about gone, thank the Lord. And um, I told you that I was going to do some kind of reef with this embroidery hoop. Hey, Tanya and Clara and Teresa. And what I wanted to do, I don't just want this. Hey, Miss Sherry and Brenda and Sue. Um, I want it to have something on the background because I want to make, what do y'all call those walls that has all kind of things on it? Uh, what is those walls called? Uh, they're like real farmhouse-y um, Hey, Michelle and Robin and Krista, Melissa. Um, is it a gallery? Is it gallery wall? Would it be called a gallery wall? Jackie, um, Susan. I'm not sure what it's called, but I've got a wall going up like where my staircase is at. Thank you, Miss Cynthia, for sprinkling. You're amazing. Yeah, if y'all don't mind, sprinkle the love for me. I will surely appreciate that. Wall gallery. Okay, that's what I want to use this for. And I didn't want just in just a regular embroidery hoop going on. I wanted it to have something on the back of it and for this to stick on. Because what I'm going to do with this, um, I'm thinking about, I may put some fabric in here or either I may just work with some florals and stuff on the side or something. I'm not sure. So, what I want to do is, like I said, have, I got some little gnats or something out here y'all um i've already i'm gonna scoot y'all down so y'all can see so y'all can see this so if i don't see your comments i'm super sorry hey miss betty so this is my plan i've got a, a the square drawn out it is a 22 by 21 um can y'all see like where the square is at so what i want is my embroidery hoop to be in the center of this this is my vision, y'all. This is what I've got in my head. So, uh, it may or may not come together. But I want this attached to the sign. And then I'm going to put, like, florals or something on here. And, um, I don't know yet. But I don't want this to just be plain. I want this to look like shiplap. So, I'm going to use my table saw. Thank you, Teresa, for sprinkling. I know, Miss Betty, I have had, I think I had the flu. I'm telling you, it kicked my butt. Um, but I don't want this to be plain, so I'm going to use my table saw to make this quarter-inch wood look like shiplap. Has anybody ever used a table saw to make a solid piece of wood look like shiplap? If you have not, you definitely want to stay tuned because this is an amazing trick to be able to do. I've done it with my um, half-inch birch wood. But I have not yet tried it with my quarter inch wood, so I'm hoping it's going to work. So let's get started. All right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut out my square piece. I'm just going to cut that out with my jigsaw. So, of course, y'all know that I have, I used the Dewalt with my scroll cut T-shaped blades. Let me get that all plugged up and get some power going on to it. Thank you, Miss Betty. If I can get the sucker in there. There we go. All right, so this is loud, of course. If Oh, and I also want to frame it. So I have my one by twos here to make a frame for it. All right. So if you're at work or you're somewhere where you don't need a lot of loud noise, you may want to hit that volume really quick. All right, so I'm gonna just going to kind of pull it away off of my, my table. I'm sorry if the view's not the best, y'all. And I'm gonna go ahead and cut this out. All right. All right. 
put this side off. Again, this is loud, so I apologize. Your babysitting your grandson, Miss Carolyn. Oh, so fun. We had our, um, our grandbaby over Saturday night and spent the night with us. keep my frame level and don't get off with my frame any so let me set well I was gonna set my jigsaw over there so what I need to do now is I need to get my two by fours I'm mean, not two by fours my one by twos and get two cut out and um, the length of one of my sides which is gonna be the 21 inch or the 22 inch so we're going to cut two of these off 22 inches. I'm taking a break, a break from housework. Yuck. Oh, yes. Take a break. Take a break, Miss Rosemary. Or Rosemary. I can't. I am feeling better, Miss Sharon. Thank you so much. You look too young to have a grandbaby. Well, I'm 37 and I was young when I started out, but... We do I actually have another one on the way that will be here, should be here in October. So I'm so excited. All right, so we're gonna cut off this to be 22 inches. This is gonna be one of the, the sides. Yeah, I did, I, um, I was young when I had my first child, very young. So he's 21, he's, he's actually young to, to have a baby on the way, but life happens and the good Lord don't make mistakes. So, all right, we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna cut this off. There's one for the edge and we're gonna go ahead and measure another one to go on the other side, that's 22 inches. So let's go ahead and measure that. Now, some of y'all that don't do woodwork, this right here is probably kind of boring to you. But, y'all, this is what just gets me, this is what gets me excited right here. But, if you don't like this and don't enjoy this, then tomorrow or either Wednesday, when I'm actually doing the florals and stuff on the embroidery hoop, y'all definitely want to check that out. Alright, let's go ahead and get this one. So now what we got to do is I've got to measure what it's going to be, which I could just take away two from 21, right? I think I could do it that way. But we're going to put these here and now we're going to see where we need to be at with the pieces. The one by four is this way. So let's go ahead and do a quick little measure there. So this is gonna be probably right at 18 inches. So I'm gonna go ahead and cut two, that's right at 18 inches. And let's see if that's gonna fit in there. Hey Natalie, you was a grandmother at 38. Um, Mr. Honda, nothing makes life any better than those sweet grandbabies. Oh, Miss Donna, I am quickly learning that. Quickly realizing that there's you think you're, you can't love your kids like nobody any more than your kids, and then you got a grandma that come, comes along, and you're, you're thinking, oh, okay, <laughs> there is a lot more to love. All right, I'm going to go right below like 18 inches, like right there. Let's try that and see how it works. Ooh, that's a little bit off. There we go. Just to make sure that's right, let's go ahead and let's put this down here. I'm going to try my best not to get any gaps going on. And let's put this one here. 
Okay. I think that's good. So the 18 was just right. Let's go ahead and measure out 18 for this one. Ooh, I have six grandkids. That's what I was made for. Yay! It's Rena getting ready myself to head out to cut. I paint everything in sight. Yay, Natalie! So let's do 18. Dropping my pencil. Okay. This is a one by two that um that I'm using to make the the frames. That was a little bit off. Okay. Let's just put them on there and let's see how this is going to work out. And I did not think about having my one by twos here when I kind of did my measurements for, dear Lord, what am I doing? That's the wrong piece. I'm trying to, this piece is the one that was left cut. Okay. When I kind of put my embroidery hoop to kind of figure out what size I wanted my back, back board to be. So maybe this don't make it too small. Is it this one? Yeah. That's way off. What did I do? Did I use the wrong piece? Wait a minute, y'all. Something's not right. Did I, did I not measure that right? Oh, never mind. Dear Lord. Y'all, stick with me. I don't have my, my frames there all the way to the edge. Okay. That's still short. How did I come up short like that? Is that one longer? No? That? <sighs> okay, there we go. Dear Lord, y'all help me out. All right, so that's going to be good. That's going to be good. Okay. So now what we're going to do is this is where your table saw, if you've never done this before, we're going to make this plain piece of quarter inch wood look like shiplap. Nothing is wrong with being young, getting grandbabies. You just like great to have them. That's right, Miss Teresa. Okay, I'm going to set those over here. And I'm going to pull my jigsaw. I mean, not the jigsaw. I'm going to pull my table saw this way. So y'all can kind of see what's going on. And of course, this is like... Super, super, super dirty, y'all. Let me scoot y'all back and lift y'all up some. Sorry if it's making you, you dizzy. Okay. All right, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my blade and I'm gonna take it, try to take it all the way down. So we're gonna wheel it down. Hey, Ashley. We slow my roll. That noise don't sound good. All right, so the thing is, is we do, what I want to do is I want to make this cut inside of my quarter inch wood just enough on the top to make it kind of look like shiplap. So, what I'm gonna do is make sure that my blades further, far, far enough down that it's not gonna cut all the way through my wood. We're kind of just kind of skimming the top of it. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get a piece and I'm just gonna try it real quick and see how far it cuts on that. <coughs> and see if I have that far enough down. All right, let's see how we got that, see if we got it far enough down. This is also loud, so y'all make sure you turn the volume down. You're the woman knowing how to use the gear saws. You go, girl. Okay. Oh, well, you think I know what I'm doing, and then I don't even have the thing plugged up. So, of course, the first thing you need to do is make sure your, your thing's plugged up. So let's go ahead and get the table saw plugged up. 
All right, so let's test this out and see if I've got my blade down enough. kind of perfect y'all see how that did just kind of put a groove can y'all see that like right here it put a groove like in my wood so now it looks like it's shiplap oh yay tammy all right that i don't know i don't think that's gonna be too deep i think that's gonna be good i might can take it down just a little notch but not much okay all right, so now I'm gonna let me see. I've got this four by four. I'm at this two by two here. I'm at four by four, and I'm gonna kind of do it. Use it. I think I want my ship lap to go this way. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna flip this over and I'm gonna draw me some lines to where I, where I want my cuts to be. Because of course, you know, we'll, we have to kind of do the, the measuring from the back because it's gonna be flipped down and we won't be able to see the lines if we draw it on the front. So we're gonna draw our lines on the back and that's gonna be our guide pushing it through the, the table saw. So if you have a table saw and you're loving, you're loving the shiplap, but don't really want to go pay the price for shiplap, this is a very, very amazing technique that you can do to make you some shiplap. I might have should have started maybe on in the middle, but I didn't, and I'm not going to start over, so. That kind of looked crooked. All right, so now we've got our lines here. Just jumped on. Hello, everybody. Hey, Tish, uh, Trisha, or Trish. Good afternoon, Bobby. All right, so let's go ahead and let's get our thing here adjusted to where we need it. Let's see, we're gonna go here. It's a little bit off. Let's go about right there. Okay, let's lock that down. Thank you, Melissa, for sprinkling. All right, I'm gonna start it. <laughs> push my blade down a little bit too far, y'all. Oh, I know why it didn't work. I didn't have a blade locked. Dear Jesus. Let me take this back up just a minute because I pushed it down. Okay, I think, think that's good. Okay. Right, let me take it down just a little bit. All right, let's try that and let's see if that's gonna work. Did I tear my thing up? I might have tore my saw up. Okay. All right, let's try it again. Let's try it again.
some shiplap or some faux shiplap. Da 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 da. That kind of, I didn't, I must not have put enough pressure there, but that's gonna be all right. But there is how you can turn a regular piece of quarter inch wood into making it look like shiplap. Okay. So now what I'm gonna do, y'all see that? I would like to know to uh, what kind of wood. Um, yeah, this is um, this is actually it's called triply underlayment. The four by eight. If you wanna, I know it's backwards, but I get it from Home Depot. It's basically Revolution plywood and like Luon. But yep, that's what this is. So what I'm gonna do is we're gonna frame it now. So I'm gonna turn, if, if y'all wanna stay on while I do the framing, you can totally stay on. But um, so see my embroidery hoop is gonna be in the middle there. Um, I kinda, this is kinda off the measurements of that. <laughs> But my, my frame's gonna cover that anyway, so it's gonna be okay. I'm not good with measuring y'all, but it's okay. Hey, Miss Ann, so that's gonna be super cute. And once we get the frame on here too, and then get it painted and stuff, it's gonna be really, really pretty. I'm trying to decide how I want it. If I wanna paint this white and then stain these, or, thank you, Miss Beverly. I have, I've been sick, so I haven't been on in the past week doing anything. Um, I think I had the flu, to be honest. But it, thank goodness it's gone. So I'm thinking I'm going to paint this, the shiplap part white, and then stain my one by twos. What do y'all think? Y'all think the one by twos need to be stained? So y'all, this is gonna be a little bit loud, but I'm gonna turn my, my nail gun on.
framed faux shiplap sign. I just bought a hand staple gun like yours. Oh, yay, Tammy. Thank you, Stacy. Hey, Devin. Uh, and yes, Tammy, I don't know if you heard me, but yes, that was just a regular Dewalt table saw. And I just made the blades go all the way down um, to get the, the lines into my, my quarter inch wood. So their embroidery hoop's gonna be hung here. So what I'm thinking is painting this white and then doing my frame stain. Thank you, Tracy. Pamela, super cool. So that's gonna be it. All right, so if you have a table saw, like I said, don't be afraid to kind of play with it and see what I like to do because they are really, really cool. And I will be coming live uh, one day this week to be um, making this with y'all so y'all can see it all come together. But I wanted y'all to see us actually build it and be able to see everything to make it. Didn't ever think about doing that. Yes, Tammy, I think it's really, really cool. I just love the, love doing it that way. So, thank y'all for chit-chatting with me. Um, make sure you sprinkle the video. A gray stain would look great on the frame. Ooh, Natalie, gray would be good. But I do want to make it on my, um, make the gallery wall. Is that what we said it was called? A gallery wall? So... I'm thinking that I want, I'm thinking I'm probably going to use a lot of just dark color wood with any of like the frames that I'm using. Um, so that's going to really, that's going to, that's what's going to make it to what decision I'm going to like use to do the, the one by twos. My husband's going to teach me soon. Definitely get your husband to teach you, Miss Eddie. Um... So anyway, anybody have any questions about how we built this? And if you're wondering, if you have, um, since I'm using the quarter inch wood for my base, I always just nail, nail it straight into my one by twos. Now, if I was using like a thicker base wood, like a half inch or an inch, then I would nail my one by twos on the side of it and go through my one by twos to like the inside of my my thicker wood but since this my base is so thin i just go straight into you know lay them flat on there on there and just go straight in and it just makes it a whole lot easier for me all right so thank you ladies so much for joining me again i will see y'all to finish this one day this week hope y'all enjoyed this and i will talk to y'all later